Alright, what's up? I'm X Factor. This is The Wolf Among Us, and today I'm going to start playing episode 4 in Sheep's Clothing. Here we go. Loading screen, loading screen, and there we go. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? It was a good show, but, you know... Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Well, this is going to be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. Alright then, so that's what happened last time. It was a couple of weeks ago, I think I was uploading those. but Probably recovering. Bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious. What... what happened to me? There was... You got lucky, and found yourself in the care of a most skillful surgeon. Me. Please, oh, Bigby, stop. don't move. Stop, stop, stop. I don't like Doctor. that. <laughs> Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Yep. Okay. What do I do? Jesus. Hmm. Not bad. That'll do, I suppose. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps oh. going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. It's not like I asked for this shit to happen. Yes, but it's not like you actively discouraged it either. Fair enough. <laughs> Fix me up, Doc. I got crimes to Excuse solve. Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so... I'd, uh, I'd prefer you don't watch this anyway. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, 
Leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. <laughs> Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. <laughs> <sighs> there. All done. Awesome. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. It's fast as wrapping. many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White. He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. No such thing. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep, mostly. I'm right here, guys. Come on. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin? Swiney? <laughs> So, how do you, um, feel? It's Bigby, Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I've seen him take worse. Not as good as can be expected, I think. So, not well then. <laughs> exactly. I'm glad you're not dead. Yeah, that's something to say. I'm glad you're not dead, too. You, uh... You stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. Oh, don't touch it, the arm. Um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived... I'm pretty hard to kill. <laughs> yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. <laughs> the guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the Crooked Man taking over? The Crooked Man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles... This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. The Crooked Man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. <laughs> so he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder- Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Of course I am. Or that the crooked man thinks he's got Snow under his thumb? Yeah, that, I think what that's the best thing to say. What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. And Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is... I think she made the right decision. Just what does the Crooked Man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Uh... Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? Crane was a puppet. And the Crooked Man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily? And Faith? I don't know how it all works out yet, but I know it does. I think they found something that they weren't supposed to know. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's oh, what I thought this when please. it happened. 
But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. Yeah, wait, what do you mean? What is this right way? We haven't been doing a good job. You and I. Oh, easy there, Snow. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. No way. Pure is driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice- We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? <laughs> I only ever do what's necessary. Really? Well, if that's the case, please explain to Colin why tearing Dumb's throat out was necessary. Okay, I'll give me that one. And then it went too far. Well, that's a good first step. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. <laughs> but this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. Hold on, who says I'm sloppy? I always do what I do for a reason. And it's all turned out how you planned. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to- Thank you, Colin. I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm not. Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby? Oof. The phone's ringing. Answer the phone. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Bluebeard? Narissa. Narissa? Oh. That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. And what do you think that could be? Ah, uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. Hmm. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Yeah, that's a good idea. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? No. I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here. I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh, okay. I get it. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. There we go. Okay, hopefully this will give me a chance to pause. Maybe? Okay, I'm going to pause it now. And we're going to read these Book of Fables entries, because I think we're in between things. Let's see what we got here. We've got... Silver Bullets, Wolf's Weakness. 
The legends of great and magical wolves often make mention to their weakness against weapons made of silver, and those tales bear out to be true. The silver bullet Mary shot Bigby with was not the first, but any of them could be his last. Any silver left in Bigby's body weakens his system, slows his healing, and can cause long-term damage. Acting Deputy Snow White. With Ichabod Crane firmly, firmly out of the picture and King Cole still absent, the task of leading Fable Town falls squarely on Snow's shoulders. She has performed many of the job's duties for a long time, picking up the slack for Crane. But now that she's fully in charge of the business office, she has to deal with a new level of politicking she has not previously been exposed to. Life on the Farm, with its idyllic location and managed community the farm would seem to be a welcome alternative to eking out an existence in fable town but those who have lived there see it very differently they see it for what it is a prison a place where you are free to be who you are and do whatever you please except leave it doesn't help that while fables who appear human do not have to worry about being sent to the farm they always seem to fill the leadership roles there okay uh, i'm going to do this for just a second. Okay, I was just double checking my audio levels because I had a chance to pause and check that kind of thing. And let's get back to the game. Of course I would have had a chance to pause in like 30 seconds. intro sequence. It's pretty neat. Oh, right. Hang on. Cold putting on my sweater. Episode 4 In Sheep's Clothing Hi, Sheriff. Hi, Nerissa. Have a seat. It's my phone moving around. Is this the first time we've been in I, Big B's office? Um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be... Well, let's just say I've been better. <coughs> Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. And I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell Crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? Just my mic what a I mean little is, bit. I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Her lips are sealed. Go ahead. It... might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. You have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... 
I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter, and I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Protect Snow. Are you? Look around you. Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? These lips are sealed. <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... But... But your lips are sealed. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Looks like it is. She can't tell me yes, either. That spell Crane talked about. Is there any way to break it? Is there something I can do about it? No! These lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! Whoa. You can't do that! Slow down. It's alright. I'm not gonna do anything. Please. Don't. <sighs> okay, so don't touch the ribbon. Okay. I get it. So the ribbons... If you take them off... Comforter. If anyone finds out I came here... That's probably snow. Listen, Sheriff, can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. I shouldn't be talking to you. Yeah, I, I can keep telling you one. Don't worry. Thank you. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Uh, wait, you don't have to go. That was... abrupt. It's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... Nope. It's how Faith and Lily died. Hm. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night, and they're scared about what's been going on? Well, whatever it is, I'm sure they called for a reason. Suppose I better go check it out. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for... Financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and... And she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. 
Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? There is so I much going on. I have other matters to attend to. 